guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're moving on to the cylinder head. Uh, we'll be assembling this thing today. We're gonna get eight new valves in here. Here they are. We have the intake and the exhaust. These are not Volvo original stuff. Why is that? I don't know. There's like a shortage of them. Uh, I couldn't get them in time. Uh, but we got aftermarket parts. We're not aiming for too many horsepower, so I don't think it matters. Uh, this is a 531 head, which is like a performance one. Uh, you have the 530 as well. Uh, you have uh, several different ones, but uh, 530 and the 531 are the most common ones. Now, I'm not going to pretend like I know everything about these cylinder heads and how to restore them and all that stuff, because I do not know. Uh, I am an amateur uh, engine builder and I don't really know what I'm doing, but that's never stopped me before. Anyway, I have left the mechanical work to someone that knows what they're doing. So as you can see here, we have new inserts in the valve guides to make those better because they were really sloppy. You can kind of tell that, I mean, these cylinder heads, uh, I bought this one used. Uh, these are very popular, these 531 heads. So they may wander around on several cars. And you can kind of see here where the head bolts uh, go it's kind of worn out so it's been on and off on and off on and off many many times so it's probably had a rough life uh, this head is not ported in any way uh, all the intake and exhaust ports are untouched and we had all the angles redone in the valve seats so that's been taken care of we'll just get a little bit of valve paste on there make sure it's nice and tight and then we'll call it a day we're gonna put new studs in to the exhaust and intake I don't know about the intake, maybe. Yeah, we're missing a few there as well. Uh, camshaft. I've actually not opened the camshaft. Should we do that? Or should we do that later? Let's do that later. Uh, ah, let's take a look at the camshaft. I'm excited to, uh, I don't really want to see what it is. Okay, so it says here, we need 1.5 millimeter uh, caps, called lash caps. Now, apparently when you ground, when you grind a, a uh, a camshaft like this from a used one, you take off so much material that you need to extend the, the valves, in this case by 1.5 millimeters. So then you put these hats on the valves, kind of take up that slack, if you will, or that space. And then you put them on the valve like that. It makes the valve 1.5 millimeters taller, which compensates for the uh, the amount you've had to grind off the camshaft. That's what I. That's how I've had it explained to me anyway. Let's take a look at this and see what it looks like. Wow, that is really wrapped up, isn't it? Ooh, my goodness. Look at that. And this actually is my old camshaft. He wasn't kidding. I know because I have some damage here. You can see right there. Look, at that is sharp. Wow, the edges on here are razor sharp. Yeah, it doesn't say. It, it says, he told me it was 11.2 in lift and 114 degrees of duration. We've got a lot of, a lot of steel in here, so we'll have to clean this thing off. Be sure to like and follow. And we'll try this thing out. Let's start off by grinding in the valves. I guess we just kind of put a little oil on these. Drop them in. Take them out. So let's, uh, let's do that. All right, so let's just get some, some oil. I don't really care what it is. Just put some of that on the valve here. There we go. Oh yeah, we need the, that and that. I'm just gonna use the fine grade because I don't think we'll use the coarse since everything's like brand new. Okay, so this is like a suction cup. Put it on the valve. Anyway, we'll just get a little bit of that, put it on the valve. Yeah, and you should get like a, a little marker. In this case, it's right in the middle. All right, so let's do a intake valve now. This is, must be really boring. I'll just do this in fast motion, okay? All 
right, so the next thing we're gonna do is uh, put these pushers in and this, these shims is what, this is what you use to set the uh, valve clearance with. So I always like to know how thick these are, like which ones are in there right now, because there ain't, there's no numbers left on these, but we're just gonna measure them manually, each one, and drop down um, the thickness of each one so that we have some kind of reference when we're doing the measuring later. So this one says four on this one. Then we get a micrometer, so 4.01. Four millimeters, spot on. Well, we got all those established. We'll go ahead and put the pushers back in. First, we're gonna put the lash caps on here. So this is definitely something new to me. I've never used lash caps. There we go. Got those in place. Now we should be able to drop in pushers. And make sure they're really, really clean on the inside here. It's gonna push a little bit differently in here, but it'll be fine. Yeah, I know, what happened to the gloves, right? I guess they're gone. All right, so there we go, everything cleaned. Cannot stress that enough. You really need to have your stuff clean, 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 clean. One thing to keep in mind when you're installing the camshaft is you gotta pull it down evenly, slowly, because if you have this steering here, uh, on the axle play um, and it, if you just tighten down like say over here or over here you can break this one uh, either in the cam or in the housing so you want to be careful lowering this thing down evenly and uh, another thing to keep track of is numbers this is numbered for number five and you have a stamp in here number five four three two one and then that one goes on there this one goes on here and everything in between. Four, two, three. And then we just pull them down. I put that on there, and then we're gonna see what kind of valve play we've got here. Um, very tight. They would say 0.35. I don't think we have any valve clearance there. Okay, got myself another one here. This one goes down to 0.5, and you see that's that's very, very thin. It's like a leaf, but we're not even getting that in there. Number four, zero. So I've been trying to get the specs right here and here are the, the final results of the valve gap or the, yeah, valve gap, I think, guess you can call it that. It's probably not the right word, but it's not perfect. Um, I didn't have enough shims, okay? I don't have an infinite number of shims, so I will have to order shims, but I was able to collect a few anyway, so we got it close. Uh, we got it to a drivable condition, but it's not perfect. It's maximum 0 0.4 and we're at 0 0.45 on some like number six here. So uh, we're gonna have to come back and revisit this, but I was gonna come back and revisit this anyway, because when everything has settled in with the lash caps and stuff, since we're using old pushers, uh, that will probably adjust itself a little bit. So these numbers are probably not gonna be correct all the time. So we'll run the car maybe a month or two and then we'll come back and we'll do a valve adjustment again. And then we can make sure that all of these are below 0 0.4 millimeters, that is. Anyway, uh, yeah, it was quite a, quite a mess getting all these, uh, these shims, but um, I'm gonna have to order some anyway, but we're, we're good to go anyway. We can start it, we can run it up. Uh, but unfortunately, we will have to come back. Sorry about my voice, I'm still very sick. I'm gonna take the cam out one more time, and then we're gonna put the, uh, well actually, do we really need to take the cam one, out one more time? We can just push those seals in there, right? I don't think we need to take it out one more time. And this gets torqued down to uh, 20 Newton meters, just so you know. You wanna start from the middle and work your way out. 
So did 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 did, and the other way when you're taking them off. Okay. By the way, this car needs to be running and driving tomorrow afternoon. And you know, I got the starter in a bucket, so I don't know about that, but we'll see what happens. So we're getting ready to put the cylinder head on here. Um, just made sure that this surface is perfectly dry and clean and free from oil. And uh, that we got these two studs in here. They're gonna, you know, set the, the cylinder head on there straight. We're not gonna be able to have the cam gear on because we got that piece of plastic there. Cylinder head gasket. Yeah, we're running with a really no name gasket here. We got the BGA Automotive engineered in the UK. Something that I do like about it is this red line that they got around here. I guess that's a sealer so that the oil won't escape. I want to blow these holes out for the uh, for the studs. Just want to make sure that there isn't any crap in there. Let's put the gasket on. Uh, nothing really to mention here. Don't ever use any type of sealant or anything. Anyway, uh, first impressions of this uh, head gasket, really good. So now we can check the cylinder head. We'll make sure that that is also nice and dry and that we don't have any weird things going on. That is set. Everything is ready to go. We got the cylinder head. Where's the bolts? Yeah, we got brand new L-ring bolts, nothing special. Just your stock bolts. All right, so uh, <laughs> let's smack it on there. Kind of an exciting time. All right, so let's put the bolts in and tighten this thing down. We're gonna pull it at 30, 60, 90, and 150 newton meters, and we're gonna start from the inside and work ourselves outwards. So, bam, 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 bam. All right, we're gonna do that four times, and then it's gonna be on there. All right, here we go. Turn that camera on to fast forward and we get to it. I even got a little sweaty there. Um, yeah, so that's it, 30, 60, 90, 150 newton meters. After this, you gotta run the engine hot, like you wanna get up to operating temperature and run for a little while. And then you're gonna come in here and you're gonna take all the pressure off of one bolt, and then you'll tighten that thing up back up to 150 newton meters straight away. You're not gonna go through all the steps. Don't take them all off. That's a big no-no. Don't, don't like unscrew all of them and then tighten them up again. You do them one by one, okay? You just take them one by one. Uh, it does not really matter which one it is, uh, I don't think. Anyway, just pick one. Take one. Take this one, for example. Take it all the way out and then pull it. No, don't take it all the way out. Just let it go. Yeah, you, you, get, the, you get the idea. You unpull it and then you pull it tight to 150 newton meters again. All right, so just a little dab in the corners here. Yeah, when you're working with like a brand new engine like this, I wouldn't recommend using too much of this stuff. Be really conservative with it. Probably should clean this off a little bit before applying this, but whatever. 
valve cover gasket. And you can see, like it looks like it's not gonna fit, but it will. Trust me, that's the weird part of it. Have a little bit of a tighter CC up here than back here. That means that this is the front. So we're gonna put that up here. It's a bit awkward getting this thing on here, but what are you gonna do? If you can get your hands on a Volvo original one, that's, that is really nice. Here we go. It looks like it's not gonna fit at all, I know. And another step that I've done is uh, I blast it in here just to make sure that everything is nice and clean because it is a little bit, can be a bit tricky to get these things to seal, like I said. But hopefully that'll do. Okay, and then I actually got, this is a little bit extra, but I thought it would be a nice touch. These domed M6, I got them in stainless. Look at that, really high quality stuff. Mm -hmm. 